Okay. Alright? Yep. Okay, well the next step is for me to put the stethoscope on, so I'm ready for that. And we're going to just quietly have a listen to his chest and his air sacs. So just quietly. Just quietly. Just quietly. Just quietly. Just quietly. Uh, 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 uh. No. You have to hold you if you have to hold you in the short term. Hey? Steady, 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 steady. Right, I'm not hearing any rasps or squeaks that way. Right, and I'm not hearing any rasps or squeaks down here. Okay, well the next step I want to do is to moisten uh, the side of his neck. I'm going to get a towel and I'll be back quickly. And we're going to just secure him in a towel for a moment because I need him to be relatively still for this one. So we'll roll the edge of the towel a bit, like so. Got a bit of a roll there. We'll place him just gently there and then we'll wrap this around with your legs nice and folded. Thank you very much. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Not surprised. You're being very good, really. Now, we'll do that. Now, we'll say hello, little raven. Yeah, hello, uh, hello, aren't you cute? Okay, if he's a mature uh, raven, you'd be keeping him well away from your face and your uh, eyes. Now the next step I want to do is to moisten the side of his neck. I'm just going to use some hippie cleanse. And I could use obstetrical lubricant or KY jelly. Um, anyway, we're going to just moisten down here. See? And Birds have their feathers, or not all birds, but ravens, have their feathers arranged in tracks. I think I'm going to have to change that towel a bit, but anyway, we're getting there. We want to do that on the other side. And the purpose of this is so that I can shine a light, a bright light from one side of the neck through, through the neck to the other side. And have a look inside his windpipe by what we call a process of transillumination. So uh, we're just making our way there. Alright, now we're making progress. Now the next step will be to come over to the, the light source. I might film this over my, my shoulder, I think. Sure. I'll bring that under my lap. Another towel. Okay. Restraint of one birdie. Yeah, it's well restrained. Obviously you can give the birdie an anaesthetic, but we don't want to do that. Well, I don't want to do that. Mm. Ask quietly. Ask quietly. What are we doing to you? Hey. What are we doing? Okay. Now. Now we're getting somewhere. I think the expression was we were cooking with gas once upon a time. Right, we can now see the windpipe right here. We can see the uh, right. jugular vein, we yes. can see the windpipe yes. from this view, right? And yes. from this view, there is no obstruction in the part of the windpipe that we can see. So we want to see the wind as much as the windpipe as we can. So we're going right down to... There's no obvious foreign bodies or anything? Like yeah, that. and there's no obvious red areas. Gape worm, Syngomystropia, look, is a blood-filled worm in permanent population with its partner. So if the, if the worms are present, they'll be 
present as two worms about the darkness of the jugular vein there or this little vein coming across here the artery probably artery um, anyway we're going to shine the light through it now so I'm just going to free that up put my hand there bring that up to there and now we start seeing with a little bit of luck we start seeing through the wind pipe. Right here, so that's a, vein, a, a, a blood vessel running across it there. Mm -hmm. It's not in it because I can slide the skin around so you can see it's not inside, it's on the outside of the... Yes. Right, so if, if he had a uh, gape worm or an obstruction or an, he'd swallowed a seed or something and had a partial obstruction, at least in the part of the windpipe that I'm looking at, we'd be able to see it that way. So what we've done is effectively narrowed down the possibilities of the diagnostic possibilities. Does that make sense? Yep, that's great. So we're yeah. just doing as much as we can with the birdie without any Alrighty, Alrighty, thank you very much. Now there's other procedures you can do with the um, endoscope. You can do endoscopy or endoscopy um, and we can make a hole in his side and have a look at the back of his lungs and have a look at his abdominal air sacs. I don't want to do anything invasive at this point in time. Sure. So there's, yeah. and you can do x-rays and we can do lots more, but I'm going to do some alternative um, methods of assessing what's going on in a moment. I think I know what's going on. But I just mm. want to mm. see if I can verify it without putting into any major expense. Mm. Um, yeah, and great. then if you want to proceed with standard uh, Western medicine tests, uh, laboratory tests, blood tests and so forth, yes, we can do that right. as well. Okay, I'm just going to great. make some assessments uh, using kinesiology and dowsing and see what we come up with that way. All right. All right? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Thank you. I don't even know what they are.